Oh, hey! So, a few weeks ago I posted a build video about my Fisher mountain bike to drop bar gravel bikey thing conversion that I did. And this is the second stage of it. So I did two big changes. The first, which is the biggest one, is the derailleur. I Originally, the bike had a Mountain LX, which was factory to the Fisher, like 1989. I wanted to keep the Mountain LX because it was so cool and it was vintage and it was in pretty good condition. But since I was running a 11 to 42 tooth wide range 8 speed cassette, the Mountain LX just couldn't handle that much range. It wasn't designed for it, so I'm not going to blame them. I settled for getting a Diori 9 speed derailleur, which can also do 8. The reason that I chose the 9, the Diori, is because it has a long cage, which handles the wide range 40 to 11 11 to 42 to a lot better and it has a lot more chain tension which helps managing all that chain because since I did a single speed in the front I don't have a narrow wide chain ring or anything so it likes to pop off easily I can still take out maybe two links in the chain to increase the tension a bit but the derailleur helps out a lot the second thing that I did was I switched out the stem. The Gary Fisher, the Fisher had a super tall, long stem, which all of the 80s and 90s mountain bikes had. It was ridiculous, but it was a different time back then. And since I put drop bars on this, that put you way out in front of the bike, which wasn't very comfortable and again was not designed for that so i got a road bike stem which it's a lot shorter which is what i needed so the reach is a bit more manageable the other reason why it was so crazy is that mountain bikes typically have a longer reach than road bikes which makes it really weird when you put drop bars on it so it helps to have a shorter after I did these two changes, the stem and the derailleur, I took the bike on a 35 mile ride around my city, and this included super rough streets, some gravel, some sand, everything, going down river bottoms and back up on the top of the bluff, pretty much. So that was a really good shakedown. I got to test put this bike through pretty much everything and it could do everything again it's not a mountain bike that's not what I was building it to be but it can do some off-roading and I also didn't build this bike to be a road bike and it's not a road bike it's pretty heavy and it's not that fast but that's okay because I wanted something in between this is my bike of my dreams, and that's what I envisioned. It's, here it is, it's incredible. One quick last thing that I want to point out is this bar tape. This bar tape, I think I got it for like $8 or something. It, it has some cork in it even, and it, but it's mostly foam. And it's super duper comfy, like your hands just sink into it. But it's not gross or anything either. It's nice and cushy, which makes it a lot more comfortable on long, bumpy rides, too.